G'day, it's Adam here again with another quick instant move review door for you. Still sitting on a bed in a hotel room in Adelaide, but that's too much information. So tonight we are talking about Prima Facer. This is the latest uh, NT Live production. Prima Facer tells the story of Tess, played by Jodie Comer, a criminal defence barrister whose view on the legal system changes after she is sexually assaulted. Now, this play originally premiered by Susie Miller um, in Sydney in 2019 at the Stables and quickly got huge recognition and therefore boosted a uh, presence in the West End where Jodie Comer played it. Uh, we also had the Broadway productions. So it's had a really big run, this, um, this production. It's had some huge amount of awards, uh, not only a Tony Award, for Jodie Comer's performance, but also a massive amount of awards um, all over the world, including Australian Guild Writing Awards, um, Drama Awards, a um, huge amount of things. So this is a, a big, important production, and it really is a showcase of whoever is playing Tess's ability to hold an audience for nearly two hours with some seriously powerful monologues not only that, but just being very smart in the way in which the, the character evolves over the period of time. From being a really, you know, hotshot young lawyer to being someone who has been whittled down to their absolute core and put every single emotion on display so raw. This particular production uh, is directed by Justin Martin, who did a, a really fantastic job um, in popping this on um, on stage uh, with Jodie Comer in a phenomenal performance. So this was shot, um, I think it was in 2022 actually in West End and um, her performance in this is, is astonishing. Uh, no wonder people are, are just saying this is the, the, you know, one of the performances of, of a lifetime and certainly will put Jodie Comer on the map. And in fact, it kind of did put her on the map because she, uh, she got a starring role in the bike riders which she was also amazing in as well and the director of that film um saw her on stage doing this and went you have to be on screen with us this as i mentioned is extremely powerful uh it's a two-hour monologue pretty much um and an evolution of a character in that amount of time um jodie comer is amazing uh the content can be quite confronting it is about sexual assault um, so, you know, potentially this is not going to be for everyone, but, you know, if you are a serious actor and you really want to know how to um, evolve a character over a two-hour period on stage, this is 100% the thing that you need to watch because she does a phenomenal job bringing some real levity to the start of proceedings and then really seeing that, that real sudden turn and twist um, and just what sort of effects it has on her uh, at, towards the end of the production, just how she has evolved as a person. So there's a lot of things here that are at play. There's, you know, commentary on the, on the political system. Um, there's, there's commentary on, on sexual assault. There's commentary on all sorts of things. Um, and, yeah, I just found this extremely powerful. As I mentioned, if you have been affected by sexual assault, um, or if those sort of subject matters do um, trigger you in any way, this is not for you. Um, however, um, if, it, if it, that isn't a trigger, then this is certainly something pretty amazing to watch. One stage, one person, one set, uh, one amazing performance. So, Prima Facia, I would probably give an 8 out of 10. It was a really fantastic uh, NT Live and you lose nothing at all with the, um, with the transfer of uh, stage to screen. It's very well directed, and uh, yeah, I, I very much encourage you to watch it. It is now available at the link below at the NT Live website. You can check it out, just follow the, um, yeah, follow what's going on right down there. All right, that is it from me for tonight in this hotel room. Hopefully that is the end of that, and next time I see you, we'll be in my car. Alright, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, tell your goldfish, bye bye.